plaintiff, Rivar Dupiton, says he and the defendant worked at the same store, and he was the defendant's manager. Rivard claims after a disputed work, the defendant lied and told Human Resources that Rivard threatened her, so he was fired. He's suing for lost wages and defamation. Defendant Tiana Reed says working for Rivard was frustrating because he was disrespectful to women. Tiana claims on the day of the incident, Rivard threatened to slap her in front of some customers, and then his wife came to the store and threatened her. She's countersuing for lost wages. Start with you. Uh, I became the assistant manager of Tiana back in June, and uh, I've been working for the company since about September. When Tiana first started working at the store, her only, uh, only things that seemed were, were going wrong with her were uh, her tardiness. You know, she would be tardy at times. There were times where she'd be uh, short on the register. That happened twice. Uh, our protocol is... Over the course of how long? Um, from June to, I'd say, present, sir, to uh, right now, Your Honor. June of 19? No, yes, uh, yes, Your Honor. And late, how, approximately how many times? Uh, I, I couldn't say off the top of my head. Okay. Your Honor. And how did you become assistant, assistant manager? Uh, I, I worked, just worked my way up, Your Honor. Okay. How long did it take you? Uh, from September 2018, I became assistant manager in March of 2019. Pretty good increase in your salary. Yes, Your Honor. And you can go further ahead. Yes, I was able to become a store manager. Okay, uh, yeah, that's what I'm asking. Store. Those yes, are good sir. career avenues. I always want to know how you people become successful because a lot of people are watching and who want to know that too. So working your way up in a retail place or fast food in particular, you can be get into management without a degree. You just do your best there and get promoted up through management. A lot of the fast foods have that track, so you should know that, folks. All right, and you give me some background. Your Honor, first of all, I got to say, my Did mom. your cash register come up short? Once. Because your hair is late. <laughs> I, I, I do my own hair. Okay, all right. And my cash register was short one time. Okay. Plaintiff Rivard Dupiton is suing his former co-worker because after she told Human Resources that he threatened to slap her in front of customers, he was fired. Him as a boss. Him as a boss was very frustrating for me because there were times that I felt like he was a bit overbearing. Rivard has this thing with respect with women. It's just unacceptable. Give me an example. An example is, um, an elderly lady and her daughter were in there and they had an altercation. The elderly lady had her son come back into the store and physically assault Rivar, like literally okay. slapped the soul out of him. Okay, how does he talk to the employee, female employees? The B word, he uses that. He calls very, the employees that? He's called me that, he's called As an, another on the job? manager. Not true, on the job? On the job, And yes. what did you do? What Nothing. can I do? Oh, you can make lying. a report. There's no one to report to that the man called you yes, a B? That the, you're a, that the you're store suit? manager. The and store did man you? The store manager. Did you? Did I tell her? Yes. That? Yes, I told her. Yes. Why I you hesitate so long? Why did we have to go through all that when I asked you, was there someone to tell? And did you? Makes me not believe you. Understood. Go ahead, sir. Um, well, in regards to what... I know you didn't walk around there calling the ladies on the job bees. No, Your Honor. Go ahead. No, you Your wouldn't Honor. have been there for an extra day if you're... Uh... No, Your Honor. I never... Uh, the incident with the, the elderly lady, basically what was going on was she wanted me to mark down some clothes that weren't on sale. She wanted me to mark them down. You know, she began uh, telling me that I didn't know how to do my job. So I told her, if you don't want it, you could just leave the items. You can, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to purchase them, ma'am. But I'm not going to do something that I know I can't do. If I may give you this, it's just yes, a statement. please. So why are you suing her? Uh, I'm, uh, on the 15th of September, Your Honor, uh, there was an incident at our store where a customer actually went into our back and stole a, uh, another assistant manager's purse. She uh, sent out a text message, a group message, basically saying if anyone had anything Let's to see say. It, please. If anyone had anything to say to her about the incident that they could say it in her face. She believed that uh, Tiana had something to do with it because they were butting heads for whatever reason. 
So at that point, uh, Tayana and the store manager and the other assistant manager who was there, they just began, uh, like, who would do this? Who went back and told her, you know? And I told them I didn't have nothing to do with it. I don't know. Uh, at that point, she told me that uh, she's not going to argue with anybody else's kids. And I said, that's fine, because I'm not going to argue with you, period, because you can argue with my wife. You know, I don't, I don't do all that with women. Did he ever say that to you about his wife, argue with his wife? No, okay, he called his enough. wife. Huh? He called his wife. For what reason do you believe? He said why he called her. To what I, my just, I, I did call her, sir, but that's I because know, she's she, had saying my, it. she had my car. Well, she had our car. You know, the our point vehicle. is, sir, you called your wife, yes, you said, so you didn't want to argue with a woman. You want to argue with a woman, argue with my wife. I don't argue with women. Good enough. I understand. I don't know if that was the right way. I don't, she, she's not an employee, is she? No, you're right. All right, well, you shouldn't have done that either, but at least you were trying to avoid <laughs> getting into a confrontation. Yes, Your Honor. So I got it. Go ahead. I, I was just expressing myself to her over the phone, and as well as I was just ready to take my lunch break, so I was just going to get in the car. But I told her if she pull up and they outside, don't make no eye contact, no funny, uh, you know, don't say nothing, don't, don't give anyone any reason to believe that you came up here for any other reason mm -hmm. than to just pick me up. Why are you suing her? What happened? Uh, okay, so... Uh, Three days after that, I was brought into, an, uh, into our back room, into the office. Uh, I was speaking with a district manager, and his first question to me was, what happened with you and Tiana on Monday? And I stated to him basically everything that happened, and he said, did you threaten her at any point in time? And I said, no, sir, I didn't threaten her. He said, well, she made a complaint to Human Resources saying that I threatened to beat her up on the clock. So at that point, I was terminated. Was there any evidence presented? Um, no, witness your statements? None, none, Your Honor. And I know how the process goes. Whenever it's a complaint or anything like that, especially when it's from HR, you have to sign for it, stating what procedure was taken. And it says on this unemployment sheet that a complaint was made. A complaint was made by a, uh, an employee that I threatened to beat her up. And I have all my papers here. here. Ma'am, let me hear from you. So the incident that he's talking about, the manager she did get her purse stolen mm -hmm. i was not at work at the time she was telling people that me and my brother had something to do with it i showed the store manager a picture of my brother who looks nothing like the assailant the other manager that was on duty she told rivard to stay out of it she said whatever you got going on just stay out of it the reason why she told him that was because the person who purse got stolen told them that Rivard told her that we were laughing at her at work that her money came up missing. He started being belligerent, calling me names. Why do you think that was? He was just lashing out. Again, it's this woman thing. He was literally standing behind me on my shoulder, screaming how he was going to slap me in front of customers. So I called the store manager who was still outside. She came in the inside. She pulled me in the back. She told me not to say anything to Rivard, so I did not. By that time, he had already made the threat to call his wife. But he had threatened you. He said, I'm going to smack you in front of these customers. Yes, in front okay, of several good people. good enough. Move on. When I came outside to smoke my cigarette with the store manager, his wife pulled up. She got out the car and then got back in the car and pulled Shh. off. When Rivard came outside, he tapped the store manager on the shoulder and told her, I did this for you, but I could still have my wife come up here and whoop your A if you got something else to say. So I was like, Rivard, shut up talking to me. I'm not trying to hear that. Like, I was over it completely. As a result of that, I got took off the schedule for two days because we could no longer work together. Plaintiff Rivard Dupiton is suing his former co-worker because after she told Human Resources that he threatened to slap her in front of customers, he was fired. All right, and so how did the investigation into the incident go? The j district manager asked me, did we get into it? I uh -huh. told him that we did. And that's yeah, it? That was it. He talked to the All store All right, and after manager. that he got fired? Two or three days after that, he got fired. Okay, and... Uh, you, did you abide by the process? What you say she was supposed to sign some paperwork? Yes, sir. So, and uh, declaring so what I'm happened? Good. Yeah, you usually have to do a write-up. You didn't do that? Did I do that? No. Yes. No. Okay. Well, I don't believe you then. In fact, he says you're late. You admit to coming up short. He says a couple of times. You say one. And then you come in here and act all defensive like somebody is doing something to you when I ask you the questions. When did you discuss your wife coming up there? Um, right. that, that, during that conversation, that same day, that Monday. 
involving this exact incident, threatening her. Right. Yes, I, yes, yes, Your Honor. See, because I don't believe that mess about you threatening to slap her in front of customers. Don't believe that. Mm -hmm. But you were wrong in uh, threatening her with your wife. That's where you went wrong. What's the defamation for? Uh, well, I sue for defamation because uh, basically it makes it seem as if I'm a woman beater, Your Honor. No, I don't want no parts in that. I don't want my name even dragged You're a woman that. beater through your wife. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Can I say something? Yes, that's that. Stay uh -huh. today. Olivia Neal, Your mm -hmm. Honor. The day in question, she's talking about I hopped out the car and I did all that. Never hopped out the car because it... What am I hopping out the car to hop out the car and hop back in? If nothing transpired, I literally pulled up thinking he was going on his lunch break. We had all three of our kids in the back seat. He called me back. He said, just go home. I'm good. I immediately went home. I didn't even know about the incident until later on that night. When mm -hmm. he That's not home. what your husband said. Have right. a seat. A lot. Have Thank a seat. Thank he you. said he called you to Thank tell you. you to come up there because he didn't want to have a Thank conflict you. with a woman. No, he would he didn't instead be quiet. I heard what he said. Instead, he wanted you. And yes, the threat transpired. Jumping out of the car, nothing may have transpired, but the threat is why he got fired. And that transpired. He called you, his wife, to come up there and deal with this woman. That was one of the first things he said. Go ahead, young lady. What's your counterclaim for? Uh, I was taken off the schedule for two days until they figured out about the situation. And that is part of the investigation. So that's right. against your employer. If you, de if you, if you determine that that was unjust, you got to go to your employer and say, you all took me off the schedule illegitimately, and so I should be reimbursed. And he's not uh, responsible for them taking you off the schedule to, uh, uh, to look into the, to investigate. All right, have a good day. Your claim is dismissed, and so is yours. Um, you threatened this woman with your wife, and therefore, you were fired legitimately. Have a good day. I have to take that. Aside from that, he's a and a womanizer, and he should have just owned up to what he did. Nope, nothing else. Girl, you're just straight lied in that courtroom. Nope, that's a lie.